Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What is the game plan of Raila Amolo Odinga? And what is the game plan of William Samuel Ruto? As yesterday, Raila Odinga came out releasing a press briefing through social media. And of course, it is circulating. As there were breaking news, the trail Odinga had called off the Manda Manos. At the same time, I've seen the government bragging that they've come out na kukomesha hii Manda Mano. But something really you must identify. At the same time, Kenya Kwanza is bragging that they are, through their mites, they have come out to end the maandamano. What is the next course? What is the next course of Raila Molo Odinga? As whatever he has done, is that tomorrow is going to be the day of mourning those who were killed during the demonstration across the Republic of Kenya. And even I've seen them starting to collect some resources that is going to finance and also to console with those families that had lost their, 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 their loved ones. But at the same time this news is arriving, the Cabinet Minister of Interior Security is not believing at all that Raila Odinga tomorrow, they're going to mourn those who had been killed during the demonstration. The question that Kenyans are asking and also internationally or international countries are asking, as we are going to mourn those who are killed tomorrow, who came out killing these innocent Kenyans? Who are these people? That is the question. Was it Raila Odinga? I know some people will say it is Raila Odinga because he was the one who called the Mandamano. But it is not really. It is not true. What Raila Odinga did, he called for Mandamano. He never said that anyone that is going to come out is going to die. Or rather, someone should come out and die. What we've seen, it is a clear indication of police excessive force towards the peaceful and armed protests, protesters. But at the same time, Kenyans are so hungry and angry. The next course of Raila Odinga and the next course of William Ruto matters a lot. Number one, is William Ruto comfortable with tomorrow's morning day? As Azimio has staged, tomorrow is going to be the day they're going to mourn their supporters. Through where, or rather, through the brutality of the police officers. It was a brutality of police officers. Ladies and gentlemen, there are several videos here that is coming out to expose police officers. As also Railo Dinga has come out to say today, that they are preparing evidences on how they are going to present their case in ICC. But at the same time, at the same time they are doing that, is there a possibility of dialogue in between Raila Amolo Dinga and William Samuruto as they are just gazing on what Raila Dinga might, might do next? But even despite of them gazing that, I know and I believe that these people, their minds, are that Raila Dinga is planning anarchy. Not knowing that whatever Raila Dinga has always been planning is about the good of common monarchy. It is all about the good things about common monarchy. So these people who are killed, and as they are preparing tomorrow to light the candles across the Republic of Kenya, and I don't know how they are going to do it, still they are getting threats from this government that no one, no one should be seen trying to demonstrate. That is what we're being told. No one should not, no one should be seen 
demonstrating. But at the same time, mimi nataka ni sema hivi. Wakati umefika, these people, the conversation they diverted their attention on is now as if deviating to other positions. Because our walijua kwamba conversation is about maandamano. It's not about delivering to Kenyans. So if they're feeling like Raila Odinga had called off the maandamano, now he has called off the prayers tomorrow and also the morning session where Kenyans are going to light candles for those who died during the demonstration. Hawamini kwamba itafanyika. They know it is a maandamano. And that is why today I've seen the Secretary General of UDA Klaufas Malala anasema kwamba mtu yeyote asipatikane anaandamana. Akipata ana, a, 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 wakipatikana wanaandamana ni hiyo. But again, number two, are they planning to arrest Raila Amolo Dinga tomorrow? Because they are still optimistic on that. They are strong and courageous on doing that. But if the police officers were notified, why should you come out to threaten people? It was Kindiki Kiture, who the other, of course, initially during uh, when he was the senator of Terakaniti County. Kindiki Kiture was angered. What he said was that the power of people is so little that even kings always do not manage them. But you want to tell me today, if Kenyans will come out and arise, will William Samuruto succeed? And will he? He succeed. No, and that is why William Ruto believes that in any kind of mandamano, anajoma kosa zake, nandiomana, anajishuku, he doesn't want any kind of demonstration because he believes demonstration yeyote. Any kind of demonstration is about the anarchy. Yane ni kubatilisha serikali yake. But all in all, what I know and what I believe is it is about the people. It is not about anarchy. It is about the conversation of the people. And that is why, as we speak even today, some of them do not believe even that is something that is going to, going to happen tomorrow. But something that they are asking themselves, what is the cause of Raila Mulodinga? The cause of Raila Mulodinga is, he is promising Kenyans that he is there to stay and he is there to stand for the people. And by standing by the people, he must ensure that this mandamano must continue. Despite of brutality, despite of all these kind of things, they are busy gathering evidence on how they're going to accuse some individuals in this Kenya Kwanzaa government. As they believe that incitement is the order of the day when it comes to these members of parliament from Kenya Kwanzaa and also some cabinet ministers like Moses Kuria, I believe 100% sure when it comes to the accusation, Moses Kuria must be number one because some tweets he has been releasing, it is so shocking that I want you to know that you cannot bear it. So tomorrow they are fearing that Raila Dinga might embark to serious demonstration but in the name of lighting candles. And that is why they are coming out to say Leo sa saba usiku watakuwa maika mapolisi kila mali as they are still worried. Why are you worried? As you believe, as you believe, literally you believe that you're doing the right thing. Stop. Stop being suspicious. And that is why they're using excessive police force. So tomorrow, they're waiting whatever they're going to do because I'm so concerned on whatever they're going to do. That is what I'm concerned on. Even in spite of them coming out to now to lay some mechanisms through police or excessive police force, you know, it is not coming out. It is so dangerous. 
But all in all, that is the fight of demo democracy and justice. What are your thoughts? Drop your opinion in the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Till we meet on another video. Bye-bye, T. Bye. -bye,